All right, uh, Sean over here at Oakland Cemetery. Got Mr. Steve Harmon uh, uh, running the camera. Uh, we're in section two, um, and the uh, uh, what we're working on is a raise and reset of the uh, children of the Door family. Um, and what we have are two individuals, John Pierre Door and Alfred Milton Door. Uh, these two uh, children. Are, uh, they passed away uh, when they were less than a year old. I believe they were close to 11 months each. And um, since Mr. Harmon's been working at the cemetery, he's been volunteering here for about four to five years. And then, uh, of course, this was an abandoned cemetery where a lot of the local uh, volunteers, volunteer groups had come in to uh, clean up the cemetery. There's a good chance that this stone uh, was over here for at least close to 10 years. Uh, for one reason or another. It may have been knocked off and then set aside. But the foundation that we're gonna actually reset it to is what you see right in front of me. So I'm gonna put my foot onto the foundation of what we're gonna go to. So we have to um, raise and reset the foundation. So we'll just pack it in with the filler material like you've seen a lot of us in the, uh, a lot of it in the videos we've done before. And then we're going to um, raise uh, or basically move the stone as careful as we can and then uh, we may put an epoxy layer on the base based off of how long the dowel pins are and then uh, place it onto the stone and then uh, if there's additional cleaning that needs to be done we'll continue that and um, the area where they're located is actually this family plot uh, where they have the door family and um, you can see all kinds of they've been here for a while and up to the corner where uh, the camera's looking at right now you see a tree and it's actually a you'll see a lot. Uh, Arlington National Cemetery is very uh, notorious for having uh, trees that have grown into stones or stones that have grown um, or trees that have grown around the stone. So you'll see this a lot, especially at your older cemeteries or for your, a lot of your older graves. Um, so we'll catch you uh, here in the next cut. We're going to do our raise and reset. Um, I do a recent reset and uh, we'll see you in a little bit. If you have any questions or comments, leave it in the comment section below. Give us a like and subscribe. And uh, if you have any questions, let us know and then maybe we can make a video of that, no matter how simple or how complex. It can be something as simple as, hey, how do you how do you put that hitch around the stone or what type of tripod do you use? So leave that in the, in the comment section below and we'll get back to you when we're reset. All right, hey, we're back again at the uh, door family plot. Um, at Alfred and uh, John John Door D O R E it's a site. Um, in the previous cut, I may have mentioned that this stone was here for over 10 years. Um, back in 2007, there was a picture in Find a Grave where it did show it mounted. So something may have happened um, when the cemetery was abandoned, like we said in the past, where somehow, some way, this stone was actually set about six feet behind me. But uh, we finally had a chance today. Uh, we can easily say that the stone's been off for about 10 years. But um, now we got the stone reset. We got our 10 foot tripod, chain fall ready to go. Uh, as you can see, we have our uh, post level on the side in advance. So that way, once we lower the stone, we have this bracing device, a uh, nice piece of wood um, that once the stone is lowered, we'll brace this against the back of the stone to make sure it stays level. And why is that important right now? Is that because uh, in between cuts, uh, Mr. Mr. Harmon placed the epoxy on the base. So we ran a center bead right through the center, uh, put some uh, epoxy in the holes uh, where the stone would be laid, and then uh, our stone would be pinned to the foundation. And this will give it a more secure fit uh, here in the future. And um, other than that, uh, we're going to start lowering the, uh, the stone onto the foundation. And here we go. motion so the uh, when the
when you're setting that base down and you have the epoxy set on the foundation, uh, the reason why you're moving the stone is so you can kind of squeeze that. The epoxy is really thick, so you want to squish it as much as you can, and that kind of spreads the epoxy. That's why it's important to put a single or a smaller uh, amount of epoxy on the base, and then uh, when you level it, it should be good to go. Um, now we're gonna, uh, once we remove the chain fall, the strap, um, we'll set our bracing tool on the back of the stone. So even, I'm gonna exaggerate a lot here. So if the back of the stone is like this, we use that metal picket to hold it straight. And then uh, when the glue hardens, now you can free the back brace or the wooden brace. And then that stone should be about as solid as possible as far as uh, vertical and horizontal alignment. All right, we'll see you in the next cut. Hey, this is uh, Sean and Steve here at Oakland Cemetery. Uh, we're actually at section one, so as soon as you come in on the cemetery, off to the right. Um, two stones that we have here. As you can see, one's on the ground, so you're not going to be able to see it too well. But you have uh, Mary, who is the wife of uh, Frank Kelly, and um, William, uh, who was a son, and he passed away when he was uh, less than three years old. Um, our intention right now is uh, we're going to reset, uh, we're, we're going to raise and reset both stones and then we're also, if you can see, uh, you have dowel pins right here for Miss Mary's stone. So once we reset the foundation, uh, we'll level the base out and then we're going to place this stone and put some epoxy on it uh, and set it on these dowel pins. So that's a short intro right here. It's a smaller stone, more manageable. We have our 10 foot tripod which we're going to use and possibly some chain fall fill it with the more solid guys and girls out there uh, back at Oakland Cemetery. Uh, we got the tripod set up, the chain fall on Miss Mary Kelly and uh, her son uh, William Kelly Stone. Um, William Kelly Stone, or excuse me, Miss Mary Kelly Stone, we have it set up here and then we're going to manually lift and place uh, William Stone in his location. We just put four pieces of brick uh, and then put some fill on, on that. We use a tampering tool to make it more solid. Uh, in addition to the brick, and then um, Mr. Harmon's going to come over here. You'll watch us lower the uh, uh, Mary Stone, and then we'll manually place, uh, lift, and carry uh, William Stone on his. So here we go. Same thing that we're doing when we put the epoxy on. We're just kind of moving the base around um, just to make sure that uh, the spreading of the glue uh, will come through or the squeeze. Um, and there we go, we took all the slack out. Now we're gonna move over to William Stone to your left. All right, one second. All right. So we got this twisting motion that we're doing on the stone because uh, once you use the epoxy, uh, it will spread the glue evenly and it actually came out really nice. Um, and then uh, what will happen? Um, these bait, the foundations are pretty solid, and then uh, whatever we cut next, you may see a picture that we'll post later, but uh, now instead of just laying on the ground, both stones are raised and reset, and we'll catch you in the next video. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comment section below. Give us a thumbs up, like, and a follow. Uh, hit the little notification bell if you like seeing videos like this, and uh, uh, thanks, for your, our, thanks for your subscriptions.